We have what we call underutilized food products. Those are food from the forest that, are, that have very high nutritious value with uh, very rich in vitamins, micronutrients, but, that, but most of the time, or until now, they are not very well known. They are not very well promoted, but they are very, very high potential. They have very high potential value if we really want to improve diet. So I was trying to explain how important for F F F FAO and even other partners to look to that niche and try to develop that sector. Because we are always like agricultural food, uh, cereal, maize, tubers, they are also very good, but we are lacking those food who are very important, very nutritious, high value, and they are in the forest. They are feeding many thousands or hundred million of people from the forest. The forest dweller people are depending on that. So it's good to improve the technology of bush mango and help support the production because now with deforestation and forest degradation, trees that produce bush mango are getting very far in the, in the forest and women have to work harder, longer distances for the collection. Sometimes they spend months in the forest just collecting, processing from there and now carrying back to the village. So these are products which are very well known by the women in the forest collecting them, processing them, but still in a very rudimentary way, very traditional. We are, I'm just trying to promote those products so that we have uh, uh, some, some support to the women who are very much engaged in that. And you have to achieve two things. You will achieve uh, good or high value diet quality diet, but you are, you'll also achieve women empowerment because this is really, so far, it's a mastering feed of, of the women. Instead of uh, going kilometers in the forest, they can have them in the surrounding environment, maybe in their home, said, or just not that far from their homes. So we need to support those women with training, technical training seedlings and all those uh, resources needed for the production. We've, after the production, we need the processing because these products take a lot of time and they are really difficult to process. It's too manual and sometimes dangerous. We have some rudimentary tools but not for high production. It's just for just little production you can have. Uh, or even sometimes women use even their children to help. Yeah. But they are very also very, they have also very high economic potential. They are very expensive products. So if they are well commercialized, there is an opening for women to become entrepreneurs, rural entrepreneurship development capacities for them. And now they can move, we can move from traditional use of those products towards more uh, modernized use or, yeah, or marketable product. Then you have all these uh, value chain activities you have to, to develop. So for, 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 the, for me, we need technical support for production. We need communication and information between women and, and these wholesale people who are uh, interested in that. But we need really to ease women into the processing and the preservation. Because so far they use the traditional uh, way 
to, to dry because they, have, they, have, they can keep them dry for many, for, for long, for one year or sometime for more than a year. If, if we also invest in such technology to preserve longer, then you have, you will resolve, I think, the problem of availability because they are also perishable if they don't, they are not well conserved. The impact, the impact of nutri in nutrition will be very positive because as I mentioned, these products are very rich in vitamins, fibers, micronutrients like zinc, like copper. They, they are, so they, are, they will improve the diet because these are products and they are very well consumed. They are nice. They are already part of the system, the food system of the population. So I think that their impact will be very positive because they have very high valued uh, uh, nutrient and vitamin to bring in the nutrition system. It, it, the diet will be improved. We are saying that Bad, bad quality diet is also responsible of the problem we are facing now in nutrition. So if these products are well developed and we have campaign, we have uh, capacity building, we have all these uh, uh, um, awareness raising and we train people to eat them, those who know them don't need training, but those who do not know them will need to be informed of what they can gain as quality in their nutrition if they try to integrate those products in their food. Yeah, so it, it, for me, it, it, it will give a very good impact, a very positive impact in the nutrition because of the high quality uh, uh, nutrient they are bringing in the diet.